What's good, everybody? How's everybody doing? It's your boy, Hollywood Sports. How's everybody doing, man? I, everybody Is everybody doing okay out there? Is everybody doing okay? I hope everybody's doing well, man. If you're new to my channel, thank you for clicking on my video. Welcome to Hollywood Sports. I hope you have fun. I hope you enjoy yourself. Well, you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you'll be back for some more videos. And Team Hollywood, welcome back to another video. But guys, before we get started with this slider set, I want to do some shoutouts, man. I'm starting to do shoutouts, man, because I appreciate you guys so much. And these shoutouts for people that's always in the comments section. Always hitting that like button, okay? Now, I'm going to do a special shoutout in a second, but I want to do my regular shoutout, guys. I want to shout out Rob NFL Football. Thank you, man. Thank you for being a supporter of Hollywood Sports. You are a star on this team, okay? You are a true star. You are a supporter of this team, man. This is why we go over 10,000, because of you. All right? Also, I want to shout out Sim Gaming Network. Man, you're awesome, man. That's why I love your videos. You all about Sim. Hey, if y'all get a chance, man, go check out Sim Gaming Network, man. Sim Gaming Network. Write it down. Sim Gaming Network. If I say I'm going to put it in the comment section, I'm going to forget. So Sim Gaming Network. Go check him out, guys. He's awesome. Sim, sim Simulation player, man. You're going to love his video. So shout out to him. Ray Sports Gaming. Man, this guy follows me on Twitter. Supports me on Twitter. Supports my videos. Re, uh, retweet my stuff, man. Uh, uh, he, he shares my videos. He likes my videos. He comments on a lot of my videos, man. So I want to do a shout out for Ray Sports Gaming. He's another guy you want to go follow on YouTube. He has his own channel also. Ray Sports Gaming. He's all about simulation, guys. Simulation. Simulation sports. The way sports is supposed to be replicated. He's all about that also. The, my next guy I want to shout out is a, is a good friend of mine, man. You know, he's been with me a long, long time. He shows up to the live streams. He's in my videos. He's in the comment section. He's hitting the like button. He's on Twitter. My man Ron Simpson, man. You know, he has some little health issues, but I, I think he's back on track, man. He's also a guy that simulation. He does Madden. He does MLB The Show. Guys, go check Ron Simpson out. He's another guy that has his own channel. Man, these are great guys, man. So I'm telling y'all, go subscribe to these guys, man. Uh, Ron Simpson, okay? Another supporter of mine is called uh, Radical Sim. He also has a video. He hasn't been doing a, his videos lately. Um, uh, but, man, he's another sim simulation guy, man. Radical Sim, man. Shout out to Rag Radical Sim, man. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, man. I really do. Man, you are a star on this team, Team Hollywood. And then I have another supporter, man, Malcolm Clark. Malcolm Clark, man, I appreciate you so much, man. You give me tips. You, you help me out. You give me some great input about some of my videos. It helps me a lot, man. And, and if I don't do it, it's because I forgot, okay? But I try to remember the things you tell me, man. You, you, you're a very bright dude for what I know, for what I see. Um, so uh, 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 he's another guy got his own YouTube channel Malcolm Clark man go check him out man he, he especially plays simulation pool billiards if you want to call it pool guys you know pool eight ball um, I don't know if they call it eight ball where he plays but you know I'm pretty sure he can play some eight ball he can play pool he's great he's got some great videos go check him out Malcolm Clark I appreciate you next up on the docket man we talking about Black Mamba Walt Walt 8 thank you man Thank you for supporting Hollywood Sports and Team Hollywood. You, he's always in my videos, always in my comment section. Man, hey, I just want to say I appreciate you, man. Block Mama Wall 8. Next on the dock is Huck Finn. You know, Huck, I love your comments, man. You put some humor to your comments. I like it. I appreciate your support for Team Hollywood, man. I really appreciate it. So y'all go check out Huck Finn, man. Uh, another guy I want to talk about is Black. Uh, BSG Network, Black Shadows Gaming, Black Shadows Gaming, guys, this guy got a wealth, a wealth, a wealth of knowledge, knowledge when it comes to video games, he put out great content, good quality content, man, 
He's got channels doing this, doing that. I mean, he go check him out, guys. Write it down. BSG Network. Black. I hope I'm saying it right, man. Black Shadows Gaming. I'm always screwing something up. But go check him out. He's got his own channel, guys. This thing is getting off the ground. He's knowledgeable. He knows what he's talking about. So when he puts out a video, man, go check it out. Black Shadows Gaming Network. Go check him out, guys. He's got a few channels. And when you connect with one, just connect with all of them. Because he's putting out this stuff going on, man. Valuable, valuable information. Did you guys know your PS3 can play PS1 games? Did you know that? See, he tells people stuff like that. So go check him out, guys. BSG Network. And guys, I'm spending time on this, these shoutouts because these guys are awesome, man. And, and, and they deserve shoutouts, man. They deserve it. Okay? So, uh, hey, man. If you, 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 you join Team Hollywood and you do this kind of stuff, man. See, no YouTuber can make it without you guys, man. None. These YouTubers can't hit the they own like button. They can't subscribe to their own channels. They can't uh, do any of that stuff, man. You guys have to do that. They can't hit the subscribe button. You guys have to do that. You guys have to hit that like button. You guys have to hit that share button. Yeah, they can share their videos, man, but no YouTuber can be successful without you. And that's why I'm giving you guys a shout out, man, for Team Hollywood, man. All right? Now, uh, I think that's it, guys. I think that's it for now. But another shout out I want to do, I already called his name out. He is a big reason why I'm doing these sliders. Well, he's not the reason why I'm doing these sliders. He's helped the sliders get better. When we talk about player edits, he helped me out with player edits to make this game better, man. It's a fabulous idea. Fabulous idea, man. Uh, again, Sim Gaming Network, man. Go check him out, guys. Like I said, this guy knows what he's talking about when it comes to Sim Football. He, he Now, he has a PS5. He gives you some PS5 gaming. I think a lot of these guys might have their PS5. I think Ray just got his. He might have the Xbox. But anyway, guys, go check those guys out. They are awesome. And uh, so let's get this video started, man. Sorry for the long intro, but these guys deserve shout outs when it comes to Team Hollywood. Because Team stands for everybody, I mean, together, everybody achieves more. All right, let's get into the sliders, guys. Now, what you want to do, let's, let's, before we get into the slider sliders, let's get into the edits, okay? Now, what you want to do is go to My Team, you want to go to Roster. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you why Madden doesn't, the, the, the player's AI is, is part of the reason why the player AI is not that good. Now, I hope this video is not long, guys, but uh, I, I got to run it down to you. Let me give you an example. Let's say, matter of fact, let's, uh, let's see, let's use a team. Um, let's use the Rams. Let's use the Rams, okay? Let's go to the quarterbacks. Now, when we click on Jared Goff, all right? And then we go to edit player. All right. Let me show y'all something. Now, what's thing? Uh, let's go to. Here, let's get over. All right. Let's get to the section. See, a lot of these quarterbacks are on generic one, man. That's another thing. You got a lot of different um, uh, differences, but I wish they had their own signature move, man. And a lot of these quarterbacks don't. But anyway, that's not the point what I'm trying to make. I'm going to show you guys something. Let's look at something. Let's go down. Okay, we're on Jared Goff, right? Let me see. Let me give you a good example. Um, play recognition. Play recognition is a 21. Now we wonder why this AI or these players are not doing what they're supposed to do because a lot of the play recognition is below 20. I seen some below 10. Play recognition. So they don't recognize, you, you wonder why they don't do or notice somebody downfield or notice when a sack is coming. They don't try to avoid, there's no recognition. It's a 21. It's a 21. So that's a good example about player edits. Again, shout out to Sim Gaming Network, man. I, I saw one of his videos where he talked about, and I go, man, that's a great idea. Okay? But we're not going to do the Rams right now. We're not going to do the Rams right now. Here, hold on a sec. Let me back out. <clears throat> All right. The next team I have to play, hold on a sec. Let me back out. As you can see to the top of the screen, we lost against the Denver Broncos. 
But we have to play uh, um, Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, right? That's who we got to play next, man. We don't, man, since I've done these, these, you know, I've been playing my franchise game while I'm doing my, my slider. So, uh, y'all seen a few of those games. But anyway, let's go to the roster again. And let's go to Tampa Bay. We're going to make the adjustments, right? I think I already made the adjustments, but I'm going to show you what I made. I wanted to show you the, the other uh, the other ones. Oh, I'm going past it. I wanted to show you the other rating for Jared Goff because, uh, because I already made the changes here. So let's go to, and what I do is these, the quarterbacks and the halfbacks, okay? And I'm going to explain, let's go to Tom Brady. I'm going to show you the changes I made for Tom Brady. Okay, we'll go to player edit. I changed his throwing motion too because I felt like that throwing motion was more about Tom Brady. Right there, traditional four. All right, so you can change them uh, a lot. I wish we had more variety, man. You could really get their uh, uh, real throwing uh, animations. Now, okay, the first thing we want to do with the quarterbacks is awareness. Okay, awareness. I put it up to 99, guys, 99, because I want these quarterbacks playing smart playing smart you see quarterbacks doing dumb stuff all the time in this game so raise it up to 99 don't even try to just raise it up to 99 okay okay now what's the next thing I want to talk about throw under pressure so let's go to throw under pressure now uh, these are the you guys can change whatever you want in these edits but I'm just showing you what I'm doing okay what I say throw under pressure don't change. I don't change any most of these ratings, man. Like throw power and accuracy and all that. That's their rating. Don't want to change that. Throw under pressure. I put 99 because haven't you seen a lot of times when they see a, a rush coming or a blitz coming, they got receivers open and they just they just sit there and take the sack. They just so I want them to be active, man. Throwing that ball under pressure. You know, getting that ball out. So it's 99. Okay. The next thing for the quarterbacks is play recognition. There's a there's so many adjustments now. Again, I showed you in another video. Jared Goff's play recognition was what 21, so I raised it to 99. So they recognize the play and what's going on. I want these guys. I want the AI to be a lot smarter in these games. So I put it to 99. Play recognition. All right, now let's go to finesse moves. All right, now. The reason why I'm going to change, so you see it's only 10. It's only 10. Now, I didn't change that on purpose because I want you guys to see me change it. Tom Brady finesse moves is 10 because he's not finessed. He's not a finesse quarterback, right? He's a drop back in the pocket, timing guy, reading defenses, destroying defenses, and delivering the football. He's not about finesse moves. But I'm going to put Madden's. His finesse food for every quarterback up to 99 because I want them to be mobile in the pocket, right? I want them to like, if they got to move to the left to hit their pads or move to the right or, or move up in the pocket, that's what I, I'm putting finesse moves on that for. Just for the AI, not because of Tom Brady, because of before the AI. Okay, I want the AI playing smarter. So finesse moves is at 99. Now, let's go to, yeah, let's go to the next set of, adjustments here sense pressure and sense pressure we put average okay now I got this from um, sim gaming network again go subscribe to that guy man sim gaming network he, he said average is a lot better for sensing for sensing pressure and it works great they get the ball downfield guys and pressure since so they sense that pressure and get the ball out okay now also um, forces passes is ideal these are the two areas I kept trying different ones, but he told me forces passes. Um, Sim Gaming Network said I ideal. No, I'm sorry, no. The idea, okay, it's right. Ideal. He gets the ball out and puts the ball downfield. Okay, this, this is part of the slider sets, guys. These are what you want to do in your quarterback um, edits. All right, now let's go to utilize finesse moves right here put it on yes 
Again, you want him to be smart to move around in the pocket. I know every quarterback is going to have different ratings. You know, some might be no. But just for the AI purposes, to get the AI plan smarter, put yes. You will see them move out to the pocket. You will see them roll out to the right, roll out to the left. It depends on who the quarterback is, but you're going to get that movement in the pocket. So utilize the finesse move, you want to put yes. Okay, again, this is part of the slider sets, guys. Okay, high motor, put yes. A lot of these guys aren't high motor, okay? So I'm trying to get, get away from the actual player and trying to make the AI play smarter and more intelligently. So I put a high motor on Brady because then he can move and do what he's got to do, right? I want a smarter AI on the quarterback, all right? Now, let's go to quarterback style. Another uh, Sim Gaming Network told me you put it on balance. Okay, here I'm going to show you the choices. Balanced, scrambling, pocket, balanced. Okay, but you know, I thought maybe if I put it on scrambling, maybe the quarterbacks would move around in the pocket. What they do is they roll out to the left or they roll out to the right right away without even looking downfield. A lot of them do. Okay, especially the, your movement quarterbacks like. Uh, 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 you know, somebody like any scrambling quarterback, they take off right away without looking downfield. So, quarterback style, leave it on balance, guys, and they will make the decision on what's better, what what to do. Okay. Um, let's see, and that's it for the quarterback edits. Okay, that's it for the quarterback edits. <clears throat> so save it, and then you want to go do your halfbacks. Now, I don't do the backup quarterback because it, the way madness is right now you never see players get injured and leave i haven't well if friend if you're doing this in franchise mode the backup quarterback but most likely those guys don't get hurt man so i have i didn't do the backup quarterbacks but you can if you want if i find out i need to i'll do the backup quarterbacks but let's go to halfback these are the two positions that you want them to do stuff right okay now let's look at uh uh ronald jones I'm going to show you the edits in Ronald Jones, the edits you should make. All right. All right. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible, guys. But when you, when you, um... all right, let's go to, and see, I like this. You can change all this stuff, man. I love that part. All right. Now, first thing we're going to do is change the awareness, and I already did, because I want their awareness to make the right cut back to um, hit the right hole because sometimes it'd be a big hole and in the, in the, in the halfback will run off to the left for no reason when the hole is right there they can run right through it but they run off to the left or right sometimes right so i put it up to 99 i want them to be a, their awareness rating of, of playing the position is high okay also i put the carrying at 99 because again i want their their, their i want them to be a lot better AI. It's more about the AI than the actual player, guys. That's what you got to get used to. You you might say, well, he doesn't he doesn't carry the ball that well, or he doesn't do this. It doesn't matter. We're improving the AI for the game to improve your experience, and that's what sliders are for, right? But we're gonna do these these uh, edits here, player edits, 99. Ball carrier vision is also gonna help that. You want it at 99, so they make the right cutbacks. They find the open holes, okay? So you want a smarter AI, okay? I know it's not going to match every player's rating, but we want a smarter AI, right? We want a smarter game, right? You want a, a smarter experience playing the CPU, all right? Next thing we're going to look at is play recognition. All right, uh, let's see. Is it on the next page or... Uh, you guys can look at all these individually if you want to make your individual change. I'm only showing you what I did. Play recognition. You want them to recognize the play. What's going on in the play? You know, sometimes you see players do stuff, you go, why did he do that? So, play recognition is a rating. It is a rating, right? So, you want them to recognize what's going on as much as possible. You want a smarter AI. All right? And then we're going to, again, we're going to go to finesse moves. You want him to juke and, and spin and... You, he's going to spin to his rating. You know, he's got a spin rating. But you, but you want them to make those movements, right? So put it at 99. You want them to be dynamic. So put it at 99, guys. 
And let's see. We might have to. Yeah, we got to go to the next page. Let's see something here. Uh, uh, let's look. You know, like run blocking. His awareness at 99, he'd be better at run blocking. Um, pass blocking. Um, let's see. This one might be in the other set. Um, his spin move. See, he's an 80 spin move rating. Okay? So if you got finesse moves at 99, he's going to spin at the proper times, especially if his play recognition is at 99. And it's awareness there that 99. See, it's all about improving the AI, guys. So let's go to the next set right here. And we're going to look for our utilized finesse moves. And that'll be the last one. And then we're going to go to the regular sliders. Utilize finesse moves, put it on yes. Because every running back don't use finesse moves. But again, we want smarter AI. So put it on yes. Okay, guys? Um, as far as their power moves, everybody don't have a power move. We don't need to worry about having every running back in the game with power moves, okay? Uh, high motor, yes. Yes, yes, yes. High motor, make them, uh, I, want, I just want them active, man. You want some good active, good uh, performing running backs, okay? So high motor, yes. Some of them going to be no, but put them all on yes. All right, guys. Now, let's go to the actual gameplay sliders. And we'll be done. I know this is a long video, guys, but it's more of me explaining things to you. So I hope you take your time and understand why the ratings are wider ratings. Because sometimes I'll do a video, guys, and I'll explain exactly what people are asking me, and it just shows they didn't watch the whole video. And when you want information, guys, you gotta go get the information. It don't. Yeah, it ain't gonna take that long, guys. Just listen to the whole video. Listen to my explanations of why I change stuff because some of it might not make sense to you But if I explain it, you might say, oh, okay, that makes sense. All right There you go guys quarterback accuracy pass blocking. Uh, we're looking at player skill wide receiver run blocking So you guys see the numbers. I don't have to announce each one. I'm gonna go kind of fast Okay, there you go CPU quarterback accuracy Pass blocking is perfect, guys. You're going to still get some pressure, okay? That's why I said 9. All right? 50. Run blocking, 63. See, when you put theirs up to 63, you're going to get some dynamic stuff, man. You're going to get some beautiful stuff. Fumbles. Pass defense reaction time. All right, there you go, guys. These are the numbers here. Slider numbers. Now, the field goal accuracy, I put the 55 because a lot of CPU field goals, they were just missing. They were missing short ones, all right? So in, and in real life, guys, in simulation, when we talk about simulation, percentage-wise, you're going to make most of your field goals. 95, 96%, right? You're going to miss some, but, you know, the CPU was missing a bunch of them, man. And so I raised it up. Punt power. For some reason, all the punts were falling short. So I raised And uh, Ron Sims, again, shout out to Ron Sims. Oh, uh, Ron Simpson. I'm sorry, Ron Sims. I call him Ron Sims. Well, Ron Simpson, he pointed that out to me about punts. They were falling short. And then I, I didn't realize it at first until he pointed it out. And then I went, yeah, that's right. All these punts are short. Even the use of punts was short. So we raise it up to 53. Everything else is the default. Injuries, 9. Fatigue, 65. Player speed threshold is at 100. And the reason why it's so high, guys, is to prevent players from warping, um, sliding, cheating warping in position i want if uh, i'm trying to achieve player position if the guy's out of position especially the corners if they're out of position they're not going to warp and knock down the ball it's about trying to get that true foot stepping guys uh, the true player movement foot they foot planting i don't want to see any sliding that's why it's at 100 and it's still not there yet you know, Madden is all about animations. If that animation, the animation is going to force the animation and then do stupid stuff, right? So it's at, it's at 100, guys. Here's your penalties. There's a, put the holding at 34. If you go in and high, you're going to have a lot of holding calls. Uh, pass, uh, pass, uh, defensive pass in the press. Leave it at 55. All right. You can see the rest of them, guys. Right, roughing the kick I turned off because you get a lot of roughing the kicker penalties. You guys might not already know that. But those are the sliders, guys. Those are the sliders. I know this took like 24 minutes and some change, 
But hey, like I said, guys, I'm just trying to give you guys and try to improve our experience with this game. We're trying to improve our experience with this game. All right, guys, let me know what you think after a few games. I need some input on these sliders. <clears throat> Again, go check these gentlemen out. Um, <clears throat> Rob NFL Football, Sim Gaming Network, Ray Sports Gaming, Ron Simpson, Radical Sam, Michael Clark, Malcolm Clark, I'm sorry, um, Black Mamba Wall 8, Huck Fan, and BSG Network Black Shadows Gaming. Go check them out, guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you're new to this channel and you are and you watch this whole thing, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll be back with some more videos. And Team Hollywood, I appreciate all y'all, and I will see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching.